Alright guys, today we're going to be messing around with web clients and progress bars and all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you how to link a progress bar with a web client's download progress and get some other stuff like the download rate and how many bytes have been downloaded and all that. So you're going to want to make a new Windows Forms application. We can just call it, I guess we'll just do like test app. And then once that's all done, go ahead and add a couple labels, a button, a progress bar, and a text box. So we'll just I'll just get that all set up and then we can uh, continue. Name this one current download and just do like a little colon here so you know. We'll do this total download. Or we can make that download size that makes a little more sense. We'll do rate here. And then we can do percentage, I guess. Sorry if you guys can like hear it clicking and stuff, but I have a laptop so the mic is literally like under the keyboard. Now add a button to start the download here. Put that as download. Do a text box. You don't have to make it look exactly like this. This is just the way I'm setting it up so it's kind of easy to see what's going on. And now add your progress bar. Alright, so double click on your form and that will bring you into the code view and then the first thing you want to do is import system.net because that is where the web client class is located so you have access to all of that now without typing net dot and then web client. The first thing we're going to do is create a private sub to set all the labels text at once so that we're not you know, typing each individual thing. We'll name it set status and we want Current, we'll do current download as string total download as string. Um, we can do percentage as string and rate as string. Now label label one dot text is equal to downloaded. Label two dot text is equal to total. Or we'll do download size again. And total download. Label three dot text is our that label. No, the rate should be label three. Yeah. Alright, so then basically what this sub will let us do is every time we call it, so if we wanted to set it now, we would put this, we'll do nothing or zero, zero kilobytes, zero kilobytes, zero percent, and I guess zero kilobytes a second. 
Alright, so if we just debug this now, what it's going to do is it's going to set all these labels text for us like that without having to individually type this out every time we want to change it. So that, that'll just save you a little time. And now on to the actual code. We'll do private with events wc as web client. And we, we just do it like this, that way you don't have to go drag one out of the toolbox and everything. And then we're going to create a new variable called private change in amount as, as integer private previous amount as integer private next check as date time. All right, and then what these for, what these variables right here are for are for the download rate. So we're just gonna put them in our own little region, region download rate variables, and end region. And then that way you can just sort of collapse it, and it doesn't look as weird. And then we want to create a new function here. So public function process byte. And then input as integer as, and then return it as a string. And then we're making this right here because if you go to a web client and you try to get the number of bytes downloaded, it's going to return it as each individual byte, not in kilobytes or megabytes or gigabytes, however large your download is. So what we want to first do is check if the file is one gigabyte or more. And to do that we need to know how many bytes are in a gigabyte. I already have that down so we can do if input is greater than that then it is a gigabyte. It is one gigabyte or more. If it's not then it's going to go to the else statement. But I guess we should just do less here that way. It's just, if you put a less than, it's going to reverse where you have to put the code. So if you do greater than, then it'll be, this would be for megabyte and kilobyte. If you do less than, then megabyte and kilobyte would go here. So we're just going to do less. And then we're going to check for a megabyte since that's what the most common download size is. So if not input greater than what was the size of the megabyte greater than or equal to input is greater than or equal to I'm sorry I keep reversing this but I just sort of feel like doing it this way I'll explain this all as we go. And then if it if it wasn't at least a megabyte or more, then it's obviously gonna be a kilobyte, so the So then after that, since this is a function, you don't have to set anything, you just have to return a value. So if it was a gigabyte or more, you want to return, and then we're going to do math.round, that way we can just get two decimal places so we don't have, you know, 47 numbers after a decimal place. And then what we want to do is C double, so that way it'll have a decimal place. And what we want to do is copy this size right here. And then we're going to divide our input by that. And then we want this is this comma. So this comma will be how many decimal places you want. So everything inside these parentheses right here is for the C double. And then inside these parentheses has to do with the math.round. And then we can just copy this right here and gigabyte. OK, 
Okay, so now that is now returning a string. Copy this, because that's a megabyte and that's a kilobyte. And then change the values here so that, you know, it works. And then a kilobyte is only 1024 bytes. Make that megabyte and kilobyte. And then public. This will be for our download rate to return the download rate public function download. And then name it calculate rate. Input as integer as string. And then we can use this process bytes again on here. Return process bytes input. And that's really all you have to do. So now we can create a new instance of our web client because if you don't do this, you'll get object references not set to something or other. I don't remember what it's called. Just make it new so that you can use it. Alright, so this is just the base code. Now we can go to our web client and do the actual progress bar linking and all that. So click this drop down, click on WC, go to download progress completed and progress changed. Now here's what we're going to want to do. Because these are the variables right here. Now, what this change in amount is going to do is every time the web client's download progress changed, say, say the first time it changes to one kilobyte downloaded, then this change in amount is going to equal that one kilobyte. And then when it changes again, it's going to set this previous amount to the total download. So if you have two kilobytes downloaded, Okay, that'll be your previous amount, and then the change in amount will now be equal to the amount that you have downloaded, which might now be 3 kilobytes, and then we're going to subtract the previous amount from that, so that would equal to 1 kilobyte downloaded. I hate that. You'll just, it'll be easier to explain when you see it. And then we use this next check so that we're only checking the change in amount every second and not every time the progress actually changes. So, if now... And now returns a date time, which is what we have this next check declared as. So if now is greater than next check, then change in amount is equal to e dot <coughs> bytes received minus previous amount, and then previous amount is equal to e dot bytes, bytes received, not total, sorry. And then we want to reset our next check to add seconds one. So that way it, it increases it by one second to the new check. And then we want to do dim the rate so dim rate as string equal to calculate download rate of change in amount since we just set that and now we can set our progress bar so progress bar one dot maximum rate is equal to e dot total bytes to receive progress bar one dot value is equal to e dot bytes received now we can now that we have all that done we can use our set status sub that we created earlier and do process bytes on the bytes that we have downloaded so e dot bytes received put a comma to get to the total download process bytes e dot total bytes to receive and then for our percentage we can just do e dot progress percentage and then we can do rate right here and now, just put this all in a try catch because on some sites, when you go to download a file, for instance, Kill Seth's site, when I was writing this code up for him, his site would redirect you to another site for downloading. That would give you an error if you didn't do this. And then go to your file completed and just reset.